Okay, this is uh, going to be test chamber 16, the advanced version. So we're going to enter through, and this is the uh, the one with the turrets. So we'll head through the door. First room, you're going to put a portal up there and a portal here. We'll drop down. It's a little bit off, apparently. There. Not a good way to start. We'll do there, through. Put a portal there, put a portal here. Now we're through that. Put a portal there and here and go through. You're not at a rest point um, to focus on the rest of the, the puzzle, or at least the next step before the rest of the puzzle. Um, this one cannot shoot you here, so if you need to take a rest or make even um, like a quick save or anything like that, you can do that. Now from here, you want to put a portal right up there and put a portal right there. And this is going to be initially pretty scary, but what you want to do is you want to see where you're going to land. And so what you would want, we're not going to go through that way because you will sometimes lose the, um, the cube in the process. So what you're going to do is now that you've put that one there, you're going to have a portal here and you're going to want to aim for it the way you would. That's that's going to shoot me. And so what you want to do is you want to angle yourself to land on the box, the, the case that the, um, uh, uh, other turrets in. We're going to land through, hop through, defend ourselves there. You're going to get maybe a little bit clipped and you're going to head through. You want to be really careful that you are avoiding this turret here in that box and the turret in that room. So right here is going to be a sweet spot where it's not going to be able to see you. Drop the cube, put a portal there and put a portal here. Pick this cube up avoid being shot by that one and put it right here on this corner. Put the portal back here, drop down, pick a cube up, make sure you try to face it properly. You can put it through that and then, because that makes me a bit nervous there, we'll pick this up and we will block off the site of this one. We may have to adjust it in a minute, but just remember that we're now blocking this one here and we have to worry about this entrance next. So we'll go through here, pick up another cube, walk through, try not to bash over the tower you just set. You're blocking the eye pretty clearly. You want to put, you want to be careful with the doorway, put a portal there. You want to put a portal here, go through. There we go. Now we're blocking that. Now we've blocked that and we're a little bit safer. You want to move this one a little bit up, I think. Just to make sure that we don't, that didn't do anything at all. Okay. Just so we don't get shot by that one, I just don't want that one as a problem at all. And now here's a bit of a tricky part. So now that we're here, uh, whatever portal we have in that one that's active, we want to put the opposite here and move in. And we're going to take some of these other blocks out. You can build a secondary tower if you'd like to block yourself just in case uh, you feel a little bit um, worried. Uh, you don't have to empty the entire room. You don't have to truly worry about all of the, uh, the cubes. Um, but what you want to do is you want to worry about one of the other turrets in there shooting you through this cage. And so that's just the major worry that I particularly have. And in case this one can see you or clips it through, if you move back and forth between here, you just don't want to be shot. And so you want to have some, some pretty serious coverage from that one. Um, I don't particularly know how much blood Shell has, but it seems a, a pretty um, anime uh, level um, amount. So we want to... Uh, but it isn't infinite. So we want to put a portal and you can either use the ground here or you can throw it from this, if I put a portal on this wall here and, and, and throw it through. I have not been able to, to throw it. So I'm going to put a portal here, put a, uh, this um, cube right here. I'm going to fail at that. It's going to fall back through. Is that going to weigh it down? It is not. So we're going to have to pick it up. And we have successfully put a, cu a cube on the button. Shoot a portal right there. And this is the most scary part of the entire um, run. What you want to do is now, because you have a portal on this side, you see that we're going to run through the orange one. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through, put the orange one over there, come back, put the or uh, uh, other portal on this side. So you were here, you fired at this wall. We're here now, facing away from all the turrets, we're fine. And you can even walk over here if you'd like. It's not gonna shoot you. Just be careful not to get too close. I don't think they can see you from over there. It looks like they can't, uh, but we may be lucking out because the cube is on the button. And then you can just go and you can walk through. And so uh, it is a very tricky uh, chamber, but most of it is set up. And so the reason that I, I used the, um, the floor to throw the button on, or throw the cube onto the button is just because it saves so much setup and time for you. And so if you do end up getting shot and you get spawned back to like the halfway point of the level, um, you don't have to continue doing all of the setup. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to get the uh, cube to get on the button, but luckily we were able to get it. Um, you can try from higher, uh, but it may not, um, uh, it may take a lot of it, uh, uh, retrying, but you do have like a five extra cubes um, to, to try. Uh, to do that if, you, if you'd like. But that was the way that I was able to solve it. So uh, thank you so much for watching. That was uh, Test Chamber 16 Advanced. Thanks.